deeper and deeper we go into poop land. Yep. And uh, since it's Monday, which is shits and giggles day, uh, I got the MSX. And a funny thing about the the H5102 after 18,000 something kilometers is that it doesn't clear snow. It actually doesn't clear snow. It's quite amazing. Let, let's go in for a closer look. And I just want to say that riding this, it's like imagine, because we dream about these kinds of wheels, we dream about wheels that have such insane torque that if you want, you would rip on them, that you would burn out, right? But imagine the feeling of horror if you would start burning out on your wheel because you're accelerating or doing a reverse burnout <laughs> where you actually do like a small skid stop, you know? It's like so insane. Uh, I've seen uh, Francois on his 16X and he, he will do that at pretty decent speed. <laughs> like that. Get the stopper. Uh, and just because I said it, now it's clearing snow. But that's because this is the the gravelly section. I guess if I go to a super slippy do section, then it will just like glue on there. It's a, it's a powdery snow, right? It's, it's not bad, but it still like rotates into the wheel well. And eventually when enough gets up there, then my MSX will start to rock back and forth while I'm riding. It gets really weird. Let's see, I'm going in the wrong direction. There are two things that I need to do. Whoa. Two things that I need to do. I want to buy a new uh, bathrobe. And I need to buy some uh, short ribs. Well, need and need. So one will be fluffy and the other will be food. Actually, I'll take this path. Whoa! Okay. I, I wonder, you know, short turns and shearing forces. Let's, let's take a look at that. Hello. Well, not, not short turns, tight turns. I would not say that these pedals are optimal. I have some small spikes here on some 3D printed inserts that go into the MSX pedal. But uh, yeah, I only have them on the front, don't have them on the back. It doesn't clear snow, it gets gooey. So, you know, the, the plastic ones from EUC Clubhouse, those like cleared instantly if you just do that. Here they will gather some goo and the E-Rides one I'm gonna let my, my Nicola dry a bit because the screws on the trolley handle of my Nick were getting loose and I bought blue Loctite and it did nothing, you know, the screws just keep on rattling loose. So last night, or was it this morning? This morning, I put some uh, black silicone on, uh, on the screw and then I re-screwed it in and like two are basically dead, they're doing nothing. You know, they're just there for show. One fell out also when I was in the city the day before yesterday. So yeah, I would need to rotate these pads a bit. Oh, fuck. I, I, I bailed. I just got the... Should, shouldn't have bailed. I wouldn't have, didn't have to bail. But I just felt like I probably should. It 
was just a yeah you know if, if you feel like you're losing control we sort of want to get off the wheel it regains you know it goes back and it regains saw me bail off the wheel and scream and he just like stopped and said hey what's going on what's going on man now here there's no gravel here there will be this kind of slush slushy thing yeah this is super slippery and look at the way it sticks on the tire Like falling backwards and then recovering because it doesn't uh, since there is some grip when you lose grip then it regains traction right so if it does regain traction technically you should be able to do a controlled power slide as long as you don't pass the point of no return where you just like lost traction and there's too many forces so that you can't regain traction but uh, yeah, sorry for not looking at you guys while talking, but this ground is amazing, I gotta tell you. I was sitting at home and I was listening to 432 hertz frequency booming through my living room while answering some tickets. And I was just like, yeah, this, this, is, this is healing. This feels great. Like, why, man? Why? I'm thinking of whether I should go to the gym and if I should answer a ticket now or later, you know, and then you got the light and it's like, okay, you know. I don't have to be at the gym when it's daylight. I don't have to be answering tickets for later. Am I, am I showing you my shoulder? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, been having a lot of activities lately, doing stuff, so it's been cool, you know. But then you get back home and you start playing some Diablo and you rage quit when your demon hunter gets slaughtered, damn. My wizard is pretty good. My uh, barbarian is decent, a, a bit raw, needs some tuning. At that demon hunter, man, that demon hunter. Yeah, now it's clearing snow. Minus 2C, there shouldn't be any ice. A friend of mine in Denmark, Atanas, went riding on his Nikola, and now he's got terribly noisy bearings on the Nick, terribly. Well, my Nick has been doing fine. I've been actually riding it the most this winter. I just wanted the silicone to dry, you know, just give those damn screws a chance, because it wasn't fun. So this, oh man, that is super grippy. Man, super gripper. And then we got the new uh, clip from uh, Kuji, the review of the V13. Looking promising, you know. Would love to know the GPS speeds on that wheel. But that's a big ass heavy wheel. It's a 22 incher. Heavier than the Monster Pro, you know, but yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll get used to it. But that. We're reaching some ridiculous speeds now. And the Sherman S, same there, with the unlocked speed mode, sniffing towards 90 kilometers an hour as well, you know, so boy, boy oh boy. I, I didn't burn out, but imagine, imagine you had to feather, you had to feather your brakes because your wheel was so powerful. Feather the acceleration, feather the brakes. Like the instant response of a M104. 
but on a bigger wheel. I don't know, grip, grip could become an issue. Here's some partial ice parts. Ice, asphalt, ice, asphalt, ice, asphalt. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna navigate these people here. did what they could to get out of the way. It's not easy, you know, the sidewalk isn't whole, and blah, blah, blah. We do what we can to survive these winters. I was at the gym yesterday. I can feel it in my biceps today. Yeah, buddy. Ate a bit more food. Kind of it makes a difference, you know. A depleted body is, is not a happy body. I'm not gonna compete, I'm not gonna stand on a on a stage, you know, for someone to raise my physique. Well, <laughs> let's not get into that. I wonder if I can do a, a little zippy do on the ice and not do a total ass plant. <laughs> uh, a girl just said, Wee! <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So yeah, not much going on on this bike path. Until you you hit the wrong patch of ice. It's gonna be like you just walked into the wrong neighborhood, Father Mucker. And uh oh bus incoming coming sound effects. The actually going the other way, great. The strap on my bow speaker, the rubber strap, it started to tear like a couple of months ago and then it's been tearing more and more and more and more. So I'm gonna have to find a way to fix it. Maybe just make some velcro attachment around it. I usually just strap it here. Super grippy. This is like super super grippy. sounds. So basically what happened is that there was an icy layer and then it snowed yesterday. So now we've got some snow on the icy layer but the icy layer isn't terrible and where these paths are like these paths these are there's salt water on these. Salt water can be particularly damaging you know, but it's just salt water rotating around in the wheel well. It's a different story of like there's tons of snow and salt water and they get stuck up at the top of the shell and then the whole wheel is marinating overnight. We get wheels like the Sherman S, you know, they're rusting, they're getting rusty. And some uh, some problems with, uh, with the suspension as well. So it's like, okay, you know, this again. It seems to be a very popular wheel. I'm sure it's going to be great. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, the Commander Pro turns out. Because I will have a similar suspension, suspension style, but with the uh, 134 volt HT motor. So basically a master with Sherman S style suspension. And we'll see how, how good they get it. But the Sherman S with the speed unlock mode, you know, changing some parameters and providing some more current, you know, so let's spin that little baby wheel faster and faster and faster. It's what we do, you know. Just use more juice and spin it faster. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. If the controller can handle it, which it can, obviously.
actually feeling a bit of cold in my chest area, which is very unusual. I guess I could close my armpit vents, but it doesn't sound like fun. So yeah, get those ribs, put them in the oven for a couple of hours. Be nice and nice and nice and tender. That's the word. Say nice and soft and juicy. No, nice and tender is what they will be. Oh, running out of bike path. The bike path goes there. I'll take the snowy path. Oh yeah, poop flying everywhere. Now, now it's rocking back and forth. That feels ridiculous. get rocked to sleep. Oh, and the other day when I was riding in the city, when I was riding home, man, my face, I thought my face was going to fall off. It's like, go slower, Mike, go slower. It's cold as hell. And then I go slow, and then my face isn't freezing cold. And then I like, Why am I going this slow? <laughs> yeah, now the wheel stopped rocking. Which is nice, I wouldn't like to rock at this speed on asphalt with cars behind me. Car, be my guest. I try not to compete with cars when I'm on my MSX and when it's this weather, you know. Only bad things can happen. Well, great things can happen. You can, you can beat a car. But, uh, yeah. The, the balance. Look at this. They have Polish donuts. That's a nice, creamy, bukake, vanilla donut over there. Look at that. I guess Polish people like their buns glazed. And look, they got kooey candy. Not chewy candy, but kooey candy. So yeah, that was surprisingly good. I had like uh, some nice fancy sausages, some, uh, I think it was cheese and bacon sausages, like, like a thicker hot dog, or like a bratwurst or something like that, or a chorizo. Uh, 300 grams, that's like a little more than half a pound for a dollar. And then they had some other kind as well that was made from the nicer cut of the cow. 300 grams as well, also one dollar. And then I bought the two, uh, yeah, around two pounds of uh, short ribs for three dollars. What else? Something else. I, I did not buy the the bukake bukake bread. All the time I was tempted because it looked like really nice and fresh. You know, probably came from some Polish bakery or something. Otherwise, you have to go to Poland to get that stuff. But, but. Don't get distracted by bonds, guys. They're, they're not good for us, you know. Stick to your, stick to your business. Stick to your goals. Ask yourself: Is this bun gonna take me where I want to go? Are these bonds gonna take me where I want to go? It's the congruency. Oh boy, it's windy. Okay, my wheel stopped rocking now. As soon as I got out of the store, my wheel picked up all the snow that it could, and then just started rocking. 
only after riding a few feet. I'm not dying without the speaker, you know, while I do appreciate the tunes and all, it's actually, uh, I won't say quiet and enjoyable, but you know, don't always have to be playing tunes, you know, not everything has to be a party. But it is handy though, it's handy, because it gets people moving, but on the other hand, not much people. Still trying to find a... Uh, oh yeah! I bought uh, two pounds of uh, frozen chicken! Two pounds of frozen chicken! For two dollars! Just put that in the oven, you know, for an hour and a half. You can like, put it in the oven, go to the gym, then you can come back and it's done. You know, and it's great. And that's a lot of chicken, you know. If you want, you can have, you can, you can add rice if you're one of those guys. You know? I'm usually good with just the chicken. Bicycle incoming. Bicycles, they'll slide out. They'll slide out. I don't think we have the same connection to a bicycle as we do to the wheel. to be like me, you know, and process every single sin that you've ever made in your life. Oh boy, I'm, 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 I'm rocking, I'm rocking while going up, that's something. What a feeling. Oh, I read Caradine. shopping, you know, grocery shopping, buying food and stuff like that. It's like you really have to think of where you're going and what you're buying and which shop you're going to because I mean somewhere else it'll cost like twice as much. It's just like okay for what? You know for what? I have a wheel you know so for me part of the fun is going out and deal hunting. I just think that's hilarious fun. It's another story, you know, if I go to a bar with some friends and I feel like ordering a fancy beer for $10, then I'll do it, you know. But I can do it because my chicken costs $2 instead of $4. Because my sausages cost $1 instead of $3. Like that. I'm gonna rock this town, rock it inside, crazy. Something that I really liked in Canada as a treat that I would get now and then is this ice chocolate, you know, that really melts in your mouth. I love it. So they had it at the store where I was now. And then I looked at Lidl online earlier and then you get a bit more and it costs almost half as much. You know, it's just like, okay, what's going on? And this shop that I went to now, you know, that's like a, yeah, that's like a shop basically that's in the ghetto, you know, they have like deals every week and if you, if you shop according to the deals, then you're fine.
let's let's rock on home then. It was a uh, not an easy fit. Speeding speeding van had to pass me. Damn. Super aggressive van. Don't wanna go spraying up a bunch of goo, so let's let's get back on the snow park. Oh look, rocking. I wonder, is it rocking because of the wheel well? And snow getting trapped in there? Because it really feels super weird. Super, super weird. $13 for a robe. There you go. So I spent $20. Got a couple of days of food. And I'm gonna eat it in a fluffy robe. And there you go. Winter completed. And this wheel is gonna turn four years old soon. So that's something, man. That's something. So yeah, just the little choices we can make, you know, make it a bit more fun. I think just bargain hunting is just hilarious. I love it. So if we're gonna be able to afford these $4,000, $5,000 wheels, Boy, you you better start bargain hunting. Oh, okay. So even though the MSX is a bit slicker than the Nikola because of the tire, the pedals are higher. Also, the thing is, it just doesn't shift because it doesn't have like a heavy tram lining of the Nikola. So it's just like a, a bit of a better ride. constant irregular surface yeah 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 Yeah, yeah. like really long sleeves so I have to fold them so every time I'm eating cheese doodles I get into trouble yeah 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 awesome man awesome very long small medium he's like a tiny guy I'll go donate the old one so I'll keep it there so it's just like different pieces of chicken wing thighs it's basically a whole chicken. It's just been, been butchered. There you go. So this is the kind of ribs that I'm gonna have in the oven. Cheese and bacon sausages, man. 81% meat. That, that's no regular hot dog. 89% meat. Can't even handle all this meat. But uh, yeah, I did the chicken first, so I have the chicken. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, with Parmesan, you say? Wow. I am sure in for a treat. Life as a single guy, surrounded by wieners. There you go. There you go, man. So yesterday when I finished my shopping and I left the store <laughs> South mode is actually quite hilarious on the Nikola and surprisingly it skid stops beautifully so anyway 
when I was leaving the store they had mayonnaise for one dollar and it was from a brand that I've never tried before and I was like oh man I would love this mayonnaise on my tuna tuna and eggs and I was like I don't want to go back into the store again minus six I'm like thinking I can do this without glasses because I'm just gonna chill zippity doo so yeah I'm gonna go get mayo anyway to get mayo and uh, this like soft mode eats up your torque right because it shifts you backwards So in the evening, I met Ronnie and Simon. Simon was on a Sherman with the street tire, the CST C6004. And uh, Ronnie was on his S22 and he has installed studs on it. So I asked Simon to try some skid stops on a Sherman and he had quite some difficulty. And then he tried on my neck and he was, he, he was like riding skid stop, riding skid stop, riding skid stop. It was funny as hell, you know, he like, he like, Tur turning lights are so 2021, he looks so satisfied, you know, skid stopping, having a good time, and then he got back on the Sherman and he, he did a few, you know, but our pad configs are a bit different and the Sherman is a bit of a bigger wheel, he has the Sherman Max. And then we came to a slope like this. And then you're gonna like... You, you, you will lose grip until you regain it. But look at this beautiful sun. Look at that, man. Look at that. It's the little things, little things in life. Just had a phone meeting with Robin as well, you know, and we were we were talking, you know, talking about our goals and what we want to do and so on, and you know that we should be happy. It, it's work, you know. It can be complicated. It can be overwhelming uh, to run a company that sells armored clothes and blah blah blah, and the certific certification process, you know, for new colors and so on. And I'm just like, honestly, I don't give a shit, you know, about the the new colors being certified. I really don't. So yeah, the skid stops, you know, we went we went right into the city. It was so cold, man. It was so cold. Ronnie had some new some new pads, quite nice. But you know, minus six, minus six. And you can be out riding. Baby, baby turning, doing a baby turn. Baby turn on your high gyro wheel. And there was so much wind last night. We went over a bridge. Oh boy, oh boy. A couple of weeks ago when I met uh, Victor, he was wearing the muffs under his beanie and I was wearing mine over and he says, oh, you can wear them like that. And I'm like, oh, you can wear them like that. You can wear them like that. Slippity doo. I'm gonna get myself a little coffee. So today I'm recording in the higher bitrate mode for the 4K mode and uh, I was thinking since that usually overheats the camera in the summer maybe it will keep the camera warm now in the winter 
so that it doesn't say out of battery when it's at 80% battery. Yeah, yeah. 50 cent big boy. You can get a hot dog for one dollar. One dollar. Let, let's go get that mayo. Whoa. Coffee good. Car. And runs. Whoa. Runs. Chocolate with dime in there. Don't don't lose sight of your goals. But chocolate though, chocolate. Well, uh, this bike path here is looking pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Oh, 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 oh. It, it ain't easy, man. Feels a little like over torquing. Another one. It's snowstorms, you ain't, you ain't got nothing on us, man. You got things to do. Because tuna without mayo, man, man. Ain't no one got time for that. Oh boy, this part looks super slick. Yeah. But on the soft mode, it's really got to be sharp, you know. On the hard mode, you can like quick flick it, but on the soft mode, you, you gotta sort of move a little bit more. So you know, the soft mode it just like uh, absorbs the the torque. It's funny that this is super slippery. Oh, sun's out! Look at that, sun's out. Amazing times. Oh ho! <laughs> There's something. There's something indeed. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> 